Now, normally I don't review singles, but this one came by special request via email. And because it's only available May the 18th and five weeks from now, who could refuse an inside scoop like this? And the actual track itself was superb. Anyway, Ultimatum out of Dallas, Texas. This one's for you. Terry here again, guiding metal music guardians like you to the newest metal music. If you're up for a fistful of new metal music to collect right now, stick around in about seven minutes. I'll get you four new extreme albums to add to your collection. If you like what is here on this list, Redline is for you because I review, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly chart so you get the best new metal every single day. Tonight, I am here with the single Festering Wound, but I couldn't do just the single, so I added their 2022 demo here to the uh, to the mix a little wee bit, so I had a full 12 minutes. This is by Ultimatum. This is Double Trouble here. Anyway, Festering Wound and the 2022 demo. Band's newest and their 2022 demo up for a fresh full metal review. Let's go ahead and break this one down. For the existing demo in Apple Music, I opened a band's page because it exists. And I see that there are five pretty strong sounding tracks totaling at only nine short minutes, guys. Only nine minutes here. This had better be good. The album cover artwork, as you can see, it's abstract with standard fonts. Hey, and luckily, this is a pretty catchy album cover. Whoever did the artwork here, thank you very much. This is great work. They classified themselves in Apple Music as alternative, but I doubt that. Between the album artwork, the song titles, and a quick sound check, I visualize something heavy. If you're already a fan of them, let me know in the comments if you're from Dallas, Texas, and you're local there, and, you're lo and you like the band Ultimatum, do let me know in the comments. My genre description before I start this whole thing here, it's going to be hardcore or death metal. We'll see if that changes in the end during my reveal here. Okay, so first off, again, coming May 18th, I'm going to review this one song, Festering Wound. The track itself is mayhem right out of the gate. Make sure you look for this. It has monstrous riffs, massive bass, and excruciatingly painful guttural vocalizations, massive drums, it's huge, crisp rhythms, amazing range. It gave me a massive electric feel. I really hope that the album is actually coming out soon to accompany this one. Moving ahead now to the actual demo, track one, it opens powerfully. It's big, ominous, angry, thunderous, and it's short, but it is the intro. So I think that I'm in for a big ride here. Moving into track two, it really pours on the power here. It's got huge rhythms, riffs, and nicely added harmonies uh, layered in between there. are Very, very sweet as well. It has big bass, strong vocals. The percussions are wild. This is a solid power thrash metal styled uh, genre, in my opinion, at this point. Okay. Track three, it's like a sledgehammer. It's big monstrous electrifying rhythms got big attitude this is an awesome number for sure track number three track number four it's another bomb track sounding piece with massive power rage and energy it's very youthful sounding track five is big energetic and it's only a 52 second outro that whole album again is only about nine minutes there but it is well worth the listen for sure um, and just like that, we're done. Uh, this and the single festering wound only totaled 12 minutes. And I really, really wanted more here in summary. I wish ultimatum out of Dallas, Texas, all the best coming May the 18th with your new release festering wound, the recording and sound quality on both of them here. It's the, they're very different. The new track, Festering Wound, was very clean and professional, very loud. And the demo was more, it was very clean, professional. It was more on the conservative side. While production and musicality was very raw all the way through. Both 
uh, selections, you know, in my opinion. I'm going to rate the overall levels of rhythm and tempo on both of them as 7 to 8, and even 8 plus intensity range, super high here. While the harmonies and melodies were conservative at a level 2 or 3, that's okay. I'm big on rhythm anyway. That's the way I roll. And uh, yeah, I find the lyrical theme here is about injustice, it seems to be, becoming a mainstream or radio act here. I don't think it's going to be a possibility. These guys are hugely heavy, uh, very deathcore range type, uh, especially moving into the new single here. Um, the album is very consistent. The tracks are arranged tightly on the demo. I describe the vocals as scorching fry. The guitar work is with excellent tones, rhythms, and riffs. Bass section was crunchy and big, and finally the drums and percussion performance, it was strong. With awesome, snappy, full sound top to bottom, there were some vocal sounds, uh, vocal samples rather, added to the uh, demo for effect. Overall, the energy and intensity here is massive. They, the especially the new single here, Festering Wound, they remind me of Spite somewhat, but they are unique amongst themselves too. The temperature range here is scorching hot with a dark tonality feel. I'm going to set it at an 8 or a 9 or even a 9 plus here, heat range and intensity shade, while the overall color I give as sparkling deep bloody red here. Does the album cover match the feel of the music? Yeah, it does. Definitely so. I love the artwork cover on both of them here. I think that the general feeling I had during this session, it was a white knuckle ride. It led me to give this album a huge, huge seismic reading of 8.9 on the Richter scale. Even higher on the single for Festering Wound. This is going to be great music for the road trip. The reveal, my predictions from earlier were kind of bunk, I would say. I said hardcore or death metal. My genre description right now, it's going to be deathcore for the single and either thrash or power metal or hardcore for the EP. My favorite tracks, quite frankly, they were all very good all the way through. Just too short, though. We wanted more. And finally, of course, I'm going to add the EP to my library can't wait until may 18th for the single which i hope soon after or therewith is accompanied by an album lastly stream the demo for yourself may 18th you're gonna have to wait for that single to come out though and that is it for another episode of redline reviews i'm gonna dig into my treasure chest here and recommend Black Death Energy by Hex VHS. I just reviewed this single uh, not long ago. It was also fabulous. And a recap. Yesterday during episode 102, I reviewed Infinite Mortality by Replicant, and I added Dark Secrets of the Soul by Drown and Sulphur from my secret stash at the end. And that's it. We have all of these albums for you today. In about seven, seven and a half minutes there. See the last episode for the full scoop. Stream them for yourself and see if they are for you. Lastly, remember, support all your metal artists. Stream them, engage them on social, buy the merch, see them live, and join me again soon for another episode of Redline. And finally, hit subscribe, get notified so you can get new albums here first. Cheers, everybody, and happy Sunday. <laughs>